Members, this is one of those bills. And you know what I mean by one of those bills? It's one of those bills that doesn't make sense. You or you, which one? And the more you dig, the more you try to figure out what it's really all about. Let me tell you what this is really all about. And I want to thank Representative Salazar for opening that door about five feet wide. This is about creating felons as our next protected class. It's about then being able to sue when you don't hire a felon. What words were used? Age discrimination, disabilities. That's really what this is about. It's going on in California right now. The EEOC has also taken a position on this, encouraging and paving the way for lawsuits against employers who don't hire felons. Now, why does this bill not make sense on its face? Ask yourself. The big employers, it's nothing for them to do a computerized or web-based background check. They probably have whole departments. They, they probably have, they don't pay anything at all on economies of scale to do that. So they already know before the interview if it's a felon, it's a, if it's a registered sex offender, if there's any glitches on the record. So they don't care if the box is banned. It isn't going to affect them. They have their own internal box already filled out. So then you say, if you really wanted people to have a chance for the employer to hear, yeah, I had a felon, but here's all the mitigating circumstances, so that the employer made a good, fair decision as to whether to give an interview, as a body, we should mandate that employers have the box there, but then have lines saying, list mitigating factors and explain your background. If we really cared about people and to give them a chance, that should be the bill. So I'm saying we're going to ban the box. Guess what? If you ban the box and you don't have the ability to explain your record, then these employers who go online and do the check, they're not going to grant the interview. So it actually hurts the people. So when I see a bill, and no one gave me an answer to that. I heard this in committee, and I asked the proponents. Not one person could deny that this would hurt some people by those employers who do their own computerized background check, their own internal box, and then say, this guy's a felon. I'm not giving him an interview or her because she or he never gave a chance to explain the mitigating circumstances. So where is this going? This is going to become the next protected class. Now, I think some of my brethren on the other side think that that probably is good policy. And that that's the way to get these oftentimes motivated hard workers back into society. I'm not ready to go there. And what I particularly don't like is a bill on its face is not really doing what the proponents are saying it's doing. And I'm convinced there is an ulterior motive, and it's not just my opinion, because there's articles already written about the experience with EEOC and California civil rights. You got to vote no on this. If we want to deal with whether or not criminal history should be the next protected class in our society, that's a whole different discussion. And what I would say is there are good employers out there who have affirmative programs to hire people with criminal records because they oftentimes are great workers. Well, then let's be transparent and get that up front and encourage that. Let's not lay the trap to bring the trial lawyers in and have a heyday on the backside on uh, employment litigation.